Brittany, their animal-loving daughter, keeps bringing home stray dogs. I love animals a lot. And parents, Philip and Tennille, just can't say no to their daughter. The rest of the family would be happy if we didn't have any animals. Brittany started crying, and now we have Diego. Can Victoria get mom and dad to take control? I couldn't have a pet when I was a kid. And clean up the family's overrun home? You have to tell her, Brittany, no more. OK. What, you're very beautiful. Brittany wanted a dog. Philip and I told her she absolutely could not have a dog. Brittany found Diego online. We went to look at him. Philip and I, we gave in. When Brittany cries, she pretty much gets her way. The dog count in the family has doubled in recent days. And this is Bailey. That's the new addition to the family. OK. How long has Bailey been here? Bailey's been with us for about three days. Oh, three days? Yeah. <laughs> wow. He just walked up to my daughter in the store, and um, I guess he was lost. So we've you know, been trying to find his family, and oh. so far, no luck. And you've got itches. Has he got fleas? No, he doesn't have fleas. When he went to the vet the other day, he had no fleas. It's never a good idea to take in a stray dog without alerting the rescue shelters in your area. However, at least the family had Bailey checked by a veterinarian to make sure that he was free from disease or infection. I have a problem saying no to Brittany. It would break her heart to see the dog homeless or be put to sleep. So now he's here. Hey, the kids. Hi. Hi. When the kids get home from school, Victoria meets the rest of the family and the person responsible for bringing in both dogs. Brittany, animal rescue extraordinaire. <laughs> yes. They oh. fight for her attention. Oh. Oh, look. Ooh. Brittany is so into her animals, so much so that she's bringing rescues back all the time, which is causing problems. But it's wonderful for me to be able to work with somebody who's as passionate about animals as I am. I think you guys are too soft. There's no real authority figures um, that are telling the children yes and no. And it's your responsibility to say what your children can have and what they can't have. I don't want her to think that I'm one of those parents that just disagree on everything, you know, and to say no to everything. <laughs> because that's what I heard growing up. All the time for anything. I couldn't have a pet when I was a kid. <laughs> you know, and, and Brittany is such a special kid, and she's my only girl, she's my oldest, and so whenever she asks for anything, you know, I give it to her, because she could be a bad kid, mm. you know? Mm. I didn't grow up with any, I wasn't allowed any dogs or cats or anything in my house. So I, I get where you're coming from in that respect. But um, let me just say, spoiled kids are not good kids. Brittany is too precious to be spoiled. So there's a lot of potential in Brittany, but you have to tell her, Brittany, no more. No more dogs coming to this house, no. Are you willing to work hard? Yes. Yes. OK, then we can begin. Victoria has been training the Via Gomez family's two dogs, Diego and Bailey. This is so much nicer. It's like when we go to a restaurant, away from the animal. Brittany is an avid animal rescuist. I think it's really important that she finds out that there are other ways you can make a difference without bringing dogs in off the street. Victoria wants to show Brittany how many animals are out there that could use her help by volunteering. This is Madeline Bernstein. She's the president of SBCA LA. And this is our animal rescuer, Brittany. Nice to meet you, Brittany. And Tennille. Hi. Hi, nice Brittany's you. mom. Yes. When we got to the adoption center, I really didn't know what was going on or what was going to happen, but I was excited. The shelter takes in thousands of dogs every year. These are shelter dogs. Some of them were victims of animal cruelty. Some of them were found on the street. Some of them may have had homes and their people couldn't keep them anymore. It's not a good idea to bring strays into your home. If you find a stray, take it to your local animal shelter. 
they'll be able to find out if that animal is microchipped and the person who might have lost that animal will hopefully be able to come to the shelter to recover it. One way to really understand the responsibility of caring for a dog is to get your hands dirty. This is Sugar Pop, and uh, you're gonna be cleaning her kennel today. I was thinking like, oh no, for a second, because I knew it was gonna probably be filled with poop and pee, and it was probably gonna be dirty. This is what pet ownership is all about, because you get all the love and the affection and playing with your dogs and having fun, but on the other <laughs> hand, you have to do the feeding and the cleaning and make sure that your pet stays healthy. Yeah. All right? I wanted to drive the point home that being a responsible dog owner is more than just love and cuddles. Sometimes you have to do things that might not be as fun. I see some poop over there. But it's important for the health and happiness of your dog. All right, Brittany, now that it's all clean, do you want to see if Sugar Pop likes her new clean kennel? Ta -da -da. Look at her. <laughs> Look. How, how is that for you, that whole experience? Um, I'm happy because she's happy because her kennel is clean. Now I know I don't have to take every animal home just so it could be happy. I can also do a lot of other things to help animals. I don't have homes like volunteer at shelters. There are thousands or there are millions of rescue um, animals out there that need the help. And I think that, that you, can, you can make a huge contribution. My start was in rescue shelters. That's where I learned a lot of what I do. Um, and I also still volunteer for a rescue shelter where I live. Oh, that's nice. Yeah, yeah. You know, we have a lot of animals that need help. So if you can volunteer and get your friends involved, do it. <laughs> I will. OK. Yeah, come over here, Brittany. After Brittany's done, Bailey is rewarded with a session at the groomers. It kind of just like a little massage. And you want to make sure that you don't get the soap in the eyes. We'll start rinsing them off. <laughs> He smells good, too. After her morning's hard work, Brittany is rewarded with some puppy playtime. This is Parker. She's a three-month-old little Chow Shepherd puppy. She's full of energy. You want to play with her? <laughs> Give her a bit of love. Uh -huh. It's really wonderful to see Brittany's face light up when she's around these animals. And that's why I, I think taking her to a rescue shelter is a really good idea, because it's something she can do in the future. Final bit of homework is for you, Brittany. I would like you to do something for your local shelter, whether it's gather blankets for them or tell your friends about it. All right, well, good luck. I will be back in a few days, all right? <laughs> Bye. Bye. <laughs> Brittany gets started on her homework by donating a basket of toys to the animal shelter. We have a donation. Oh, great. I'll come right out. We cannot thank you enough. This is awesome. OK, smile, save doggies. <laughs> doggies. The toys are much appreciated, and she makes a new friend. But this time, her canine companion won't be coming home. I think I'll be spending most of my time at animal shelters and stuff, helping as much as I can. I'm so proud of you. Do you know what is fantastic, Brittany, and really warms my heart? Is the fact that even though you shouldn't be bringing strays off the street, you've given Bailey a really great home here. And I don't think there's a better place for him. But no more. <laughs> <laughs> promise. I promise. OK, good. Victoria has helped my family out a lot, and I appreciate it and I'm gonna miss her when she leaves. <laughs> I'm really impressed with the work you've done. I think these dogs have a great home with you. You have worked really hard and just keep doing it. Be consistent with these dogs and I think you're gonna reap the rewards. We are gonna definitely continue with all the training that Victoria has taught us. And it's so much more peaceful and calm at the house. Dinner is so much better. I'm really happy that Victoria came into our lives. Thank you. Bye-bye. <laughs> Bye. 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 I'm really pleased with the progress the family have made with their dogs. It's a really wonderful feeling for me to be able to leave knowing that the dogs are in a better place and so is the family.
Recently, we were driving down the street and we saw a dog and he looked lost and Brittany's first reaction was, Mom, call the shelter, tell them where this dog is at so someone can come pick him up. Brittany has matured so much since we worked with Victoria. I'm so proud of her. And it's great to see that Brittany is still looking out for stray animals. Victoria has helped me realize that when I grow up, I want to be a veterinarian and work with animals. Good job with the baby. Thank you.